What's up, everybody? Today is day 50! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Can't wait, can't wait. And we are going to make pasta. And what I can tell you is that today's pasta is not going to be just any pasta, but I'm gonna celebrate. And what that means is that I am gonna have shrimp and add it to my pasta. I'm gonna start us off by getting our flour out. We've got a durum wheat semolina flour and also some all-purpose flour. We're gonna use some eggs and a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna make this great. Let's check it out. This is some fresh, wild-caught shrimp, um, frozen, and so, let me just show you guys. What we got, we got wild-caught Pacific cold water cooked and peeled shrimp. So, it's kind of, it's frozen, I got it at Costco, and it's just gonna be, it's not as glamorous as I want it to be, but it's the best I can do for now, since I don't live near fresh coast shrimp, so. I'm gonna let them eat all of it out into the pasta. It's gonna be delicious. All right, and this is what I'm gonna use today. I've got some white mushrooms, which I need to wash, some organic tomatoes, some fresh basil, that's whole leaf, and then uh, some peeled garlic that will go in for the sauce and the shrimp. And so we're gonna put that all together in an olive oil sauce that will taste delicious. So I'm just gonna get started by cutting up some of the ingredients while the pasta is resting. Boom, that's what I'm using. Why not? So I've got the gauge one. Here we go. Wow, that is some good looking pasta right there. Woo. I'm literally over here mid cooking for day 50. And one of my really good friends, Nasia, she reached out and just congratulated me. Happy 50th day of pasta. And I can't tell you how much that meant to me just because uh, it's not easy to do this for or up to 50 days in a row now. Um, but it's people like you who are encouraging me and showing me that I can do it and that you believe in me. And so thank you so much. This is what I got going right now. Some fettuccine done right here, looking super fine. And the reason I chose fettuccine is because, well, who doesn't love a good fettuccine? And then I've got a pan with some olive oil on medium heat here. And once that gets going, I'm going to go ahead and toss in this lovely garlic that I've chopped here. And then once that's sweat, Sweating, getting, you know, heated up. I'm gonna throw in the mushrooms and then in the basil. Actually, I guess that'll be garlic, mushrooms, and then I've got these shrimp that I bought. They're pre-cooked and frozen, but they're wild-caught Alaskan shrimp. And so I'm super pumped about that. Then I'll top it up with these fresh tomatoes that I'll chop once this is off the cutting board. And we're gonna have a good old time up in here, so. Oh yeah, this is it. We are going all out with, the, with things that people have gifted me to make me, to get me this far. This is an apron bought for me by Stephen Witt. Thank you so much for in the college days, encouraging me to chase after my restaurant dreams. And so I love this apron. I'll probably wear it till I'm dead. 
So thank you. So I got these lovely, lovely, lovely towels um, from Lindsay Freetag, who uh, owns the house that I'm living at with my best friend, Jake. Um, and so she bought me these towels. And lastly, the chef's hat by, bought by Robin Burrow. Thank you so much for all of these good things. Thanks for believing in me. I got this lovely Royal Craft Wood bamboo cutting boards from my friend Melissa. Literally, the support is unreal. My mom has purchased me so many little tools and things that I couldn't make some of these things without. So thanks, mom. I've also got some drying racks, one that I haven't even opened, but Lindsay, thank you so much for buying that. And then also one for my mom. So you guys are amazing. I love you all. Welcome to my dining table. It's not even mine, I don't live here technically. This looks unbelievable. A true helping for day 50. And if I ate pasta like this every night, I would guaranteed be 400 pounds. But wow, I'm very pleased and excited to taste this. So let's give it a try. Mm. Wow. Well, that is so good. First of all, my first impression is, wow, the fettuccine turned out perfect. Day 50, success. Pasta was the best, is the, probably gonna be the star of this dish tonight because it's cooked just perfectly. It's probably in there 20, 30 seconds, maybe a minute, probably not even a minute, 45 seconds. And just the thickness, the consistency, it's perfect. Super thankful for that. And then secondly, um, the shrimp that I added is something, a new flavor to the whole mix of things that I've been eating. And I will say that it's like a little bit fishier than I want it to be, but overall it's shrimp. So it's like from the ocean. So I, don't, I think that's how that works. Oh look, three shrimp right here. Oh yeah, it's too super good though. Really fresh. Mmm. Wow, oh, it's delicious. But this is a unique kind of sauce. Like I haven't made this before because it has just a complex flavor here. Mmm. Wow, that's delicious. I mean, like a king over here, can't believe it. Many of you are probably wondering, why is he on, why is he eating pasta for 50 days so far? And well, the reason is because I wanna get better at making pasta because one day I'm gonna own a restaurant and pasta is gonna be a part of that. Um, and so I just wanna have a really classic Italian skill when it comes to cooking and that's making the pasta and so i feel like i'm getting way better at it than when i started day one or day three or whatever the consistency has just gone way up and so now i'm like starting to feel a little bit better about it because i've just gotten significantly better so there's still plenty of room to grow it's not perfect and i have bad days as you'll see from my previous vlogs but i will say i feel really good about how this is turning out and I, I'm happy with the product. If you feel like there's something in your life that you wanna get better at, don't give up just because of one failure or one mistake because the reality is you're not gonna get it right every time. You're, you're human. And so 
I encourage you keep trying, keep practicing, keep showing up, keep doing the research, keep doing the studies, whatever it is. It'll pay off in the end and you'll be glad to have shown perseverance to get you to that point when you're when you're sitting back saying, wow, I feel really good about what I'm eating and I created that or I feel like I achieved my goal this time. And so keep up the good work out there. I will as well. I've got 50 more days to go, so I'm not going anywhere. We'll see you back for day 51 tomorrow. Like and subscribe to these videos. Would you um, hit that like button? Whatever. I'm really bad at this part, and I don't love this part. It's not about this part, but share with your friends if you feel like it. Come back, and we'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.